On this video, I give it to you three advanced tips for use Java records and get a better soft design with human immutability. Hey you, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for the ultimate software engineer who want to achieve and move your career forward as architect, software engineer, and also to use simplicity to get better results in your career. So subscribe and join us. Okay, let's start talking about the advanced tips with records. The advanced tip number one is using compact constructor to uh, make sure about your data consistency with records. Let's create a scenario where I want to create a value type, for example, money, where money, I have two fields, the currency and the price. And it doesn't make sense that I only have uh, a valid number if without a valid currency. I need to make sure that I will have both. So what can I do? I come here. I can create, for example, a class called money as records. I can use currency here and then big dash small as value. And then what I can do is to pull, create a constructor. This way, I can do validation on both. So currency um, here. So I can put any message like currency is required or anything like this. So value is required. So right now, of course, you can do even more. But right now, I, have, I can make sure that on somebody will create records, they will have enough data consistency with these records. Of course, you can put more validation. For example, imagine price that should not be negative. Okay, so you can put something like this here as well. Another good advice is if you wish, you can overwrite the getter method inside the records. Imagine a scenario that I want to create a value type of an email, right? So I can come here, I will create my value type email. Oops, not a number, records, one second. And what can I do here? Value. Of course, as I said, I can put a validation here and then I can overwrite the get method. So I can put email and some overwrite information here, like that is my email or something like this. if you wish, of course, or this way you can put this in highlight. So you can overwrite the getter method as well. The third one for today is you can also overwrite the equals and hash code. For example, let's imagine a scenario where I do have an event. So I come here, I will create a record event where it will have a name and of course the value. You can do the validation as you wish and you can come here and overwrite the equals and hash codes. This time only use the name or the ID because for you the event should only look to the name or the ID. So you can make sure about the validation and data consistency with the constructor. You can override the getters methods. 
you can even include more methods inside the record and of course overwrite each one that does exist. That's all for today. Hopefully it will be useful for you, but please let me know. Is that helpful? Uh, are you using records right now? How do you use and give another tips? How do you use records? Bye. <music>